Hello and welcome to Stations of the Cross, Via Dolorosa, station number 10, Jesus is Crucified. How do you like this cart cartoon in the uh, April 6th uh, issue of the New Yorker? Not only the man, but both the dog and the uh, parrot have protective suits on and masks. The books are all about worry. Home sweet home so far. And of course, hoarding and stocking of food. And I guess that's toilet paper under the uh, table there. Is this you by chance? In the face of coronavirus, we feel a tension between anxiety, if not outright fear on the one hand, and the desire to get release. How are we going to do that? Well, a sense of humor certainly uh, helps a lot. Uh, faith in God, trust in God, well, that helps a lot too. Here in Station 10, we're going to look at the crucifixion of Jesus. While looking at Salvador Dali's crucifixion, we will read from Luke chapter 23. When they came to the place that is called the Skull, they crucified Jesus there with the criminals, one on his right and one on his left. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. And they cast lots to divide his clothing. When the centurion saw what he had taken place, he praised God and said, Certainly this man was innocent. This is Salvador Dali's Christ of St. John of the Cross, kind of connecting heaven with earth. But I think we see it even more clearly in Peter Paul Rubin's crucifixion, where the lighted body of Jesus stands out from the darkness above, behind, and below, the light of the world being crushed by the darkness. Jesus feels the anxiety at having to face his own imminent death. Jesus feels the crack of the whip on his back. Jesus feels the pain of the nails being driven through his hands. Jesus feels the panic at not being able to breathe while hanging on the cross. Jesus feels the rejection on the part of the world of God's love and grace. And because Jesus is the incarnate God, the second person of the Trinity, God feels all these things as well. Part of the message of the death of Jesus on the cross is that all of Jesus' experiences become internal to God's Trinitarian life Further, every experience that you and I have of pain and discouragement and despair also are taken up into God's life. No matter what you feel, no matter how distraught, distressed, sad, or grieving you feel. All of those feelings are felt simultaneously by God. That's what it means for God to love us. Pastor Mark Roberts points out that because of what happened in the crucifixion of Jesus, God forgives you and me of all our sins. What a dramatic moment it must have been when Jesus, hanging on the cross, enters into prayer, asking God to forgive those who mocked him and who deserted him and who inflicted pain on him and put him to death. Father, forgive them. 
Well, let's turn to Pastor Mark Roberts' prayer. The Lord be with you. Gracious Lord, how can I ever thank you for dying on the cross for me? Your death has given me life. Your sacrifice has led to my blessing. Yet I confess that I can sometimes take your death for granted, forgetting what you did for me and neglecting its significance. Forgive me, Lord. And even when I can't go to the actual place of your crucifixion today, may the reality of your sacrifice press itself upon my mind and flood my heart. All praise to you, merciful Lord, for your cross. Amen. That's station number 10. I will see you tomorrow for station number 11.